All right, folks, uh, this is the phase two aspect of uh, the finish up on the job here. I just wanted to show you. Um, I hope it was a big difference. I know I spent at least a good four days here uh, rewiring everything. And uh, so this is what we got here. Everything is nice and dressed, clean behind the plywood. We have the automatic transfer switch sitting there. Uh, we have a switch coming in from power feed coming in and that gives power for incoming. Uh, to each one of the grow watts. Uh, each one of the grow watts are doing an out power source here, and that goes directly to the top end part of the generator or transfer switch, and then this is coming into the bottom part as a uh, uh, backup. So we have a grand total of eight of the 5.125 KW lithium iron phosphate life power four batteries. Uh, these are the um, built-in BMS and then these ones here have the di digital LCD screen so I've always loved these ones they're just a little bit more expensive let me try and focus here all right so right now it's just showing power input output all that stuff uh, showing 55 percent 53.3 volts you know 27 C about nine amps coming into the system then if we go over here, we can actually check out each one of the BMSs. Whoops, come on, baby. Um, so each one of the BMSs, there's a grand total of 16 of them in this particular pack. And so there's four packs. They're all ran into the BM, uh, communication cords. We have number one sitting on top. So when he's charging and discharging throughout the day, basically he's giving us a, a complete overall reading um, the batteries right now are in a balanced state this pack is running about 54 55 uh, percent this one's at 99 percent this cord is coming off the bms of the first battery representing 99 percent so we're gonna go ahead and kill the the numbers here or the uh so if we come down the screen one two We'll see a grand total of 61.8 kW have gone in through this particular inverter. That was right there. Right now it's 4.7 amps, about 1400 watts in climbing. We have inverter one, two, and three on three strings. Number four does not have a string yet. Customer is uh, in the process of buying some more panels. As you can tell, there's zero voltage coming in from the actual PV line. We are doing an AC bypass as of right now. That's basically just taking the Generac transfer switch's house power, transferring it over to the inverter so it can bypass the system, keep a charge on the batteries because I'm in float, trying to balance the batteries themselves. Uh, 9.2 amps it's going into the battery bank. So like I said, we're trying to balance the bank itself. Over here, uh, we have uh, L1, L2. So this is uh, inverter one two, three, and four, or sorry, like a book. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, we're in the process of labeling those right now. Um, this is the whole transfer switch on the inside. It is in an automatic mode uh, coming over here as we've taken off a good chunk of the breaker system. Uh, this is feeding in, this is feeding back out. So this is coming in and out out of the zone line. This is the extra panel here for 120 volts, which is uh, separate from the system itself. And over here is the 240. So, uh, let's see what else do we have. So we have the uh, 5,000 watt transformer, L1, L2 combo, as well as, so we have uh, inverter one, two, three, four, transformer one and two sitting on this panel here. We have uh, incoming PV line from outside, which is right here going up, going into inverter one and two, and then three and four. This is a double pole breaker, 60 amp. We're only running 10 amps on the circuit, so no big deal. Uh, this is going directly into, like I said, the platform for these for incoming PV. Communication ports and cables and things of that nature for inverter one, two, three, and four have to be installed also with voltage controlled um, um, uh, wiring basically this is allowing each one of the inverters to register that there is maybe a little bit of a difference from the distance of the batteries or outside PV or, or incoming power or outside it's it's basically just a voltage um, uh, communicating a cord between everything this is the grow watt uh, manual here uh, the customer is fully understanding as we do a walkthrough here's the complete layout for the four inverter 
communication uh, wiring setup. Um, if any faults or codes or anything pop up, basically the customer knows. Uh, the one that we do not ever want to see is number nine. That one right there pretty much means that the inverter is starting to fail from the inside. That code right there usually means that there's a static charge coming off the battery or it's high voltage coming off of PV. Uh, number eight is means that it's just timed out um, just from you know no solar input or no activity or it basically went to sleep. Um, yeah, definitely in love with this. And we are wrapped up. Tell me what you think.